Hey YouTube, how you doing out there? Today I'm going to teach you how to make a slip bag. You can get all these items from around your house, they can cost you nothing, or under five. I'm guessing, you know, a total of three bucks if you don't have the, the items laying around your house already for free. You're going to need a string, rope, ribbon, anything. You can use anything you can find around the house. Some old string, some old shoestring, anything. Rope, anything. Next item you're going to need is a sock. Long socks are what I prefer to use, it works better. Doesn't matter what color, doesn't matter anything else about that. Optional zip ties, so you can tie it better, make it last longer. A pair of scissors, that's optional. An old bottle to cut up for scooping the sand, dirt, rocks, whatever you're going to use for the weight. And a bag, any kind of bag you do, any kind of grocery store bag. Alright, what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to pour the sand into the bag you put whatever whatever weight you want so when you feel that that's the size you want I would try to make a couple of them you know different sizes, different speeds, different difficulties you want to get it like that and then the next step is you just want to make a knot in this bag you know, nothing fancy just make the knot, keep the knot all the way at the bottom. Try to pull it all the way to the bottom. Try to pull it a little closer if you can than me. And then what I do is I take the extra and I put it over it. Upside down. You know, to make it a little thicker, you can skip this process and just use more than one bag. You make another knot. You do the same thing, you try to bring the knot all the way to the bottom. Mine's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be. You get something looking like that. I'm sure you guys can do a better job than me. You take one of your old socks, as so. You want to put it in there. Nothing fancy. It should look like that. Then you want to do another knot. And you want the gold to try to get it as low as you can again. So that's so. Make another knot in it. And that's pretty much it. The rest is just, you know, personalizing it. Putting the string, the rope, the zip ties. All that after that is optional. You know, I'm gonna just put a quick string on this real quick just to show you what it looks like. And that's it. You can put it. Any diameters you want, more string, more sock, or whatever. I'm guessing this probably weighs like, I don't know, two pounds? You can make them any size you want. You can make it as heavy as 20 pounds, 10 pounds, 5 pounds, whatever you want. Here's the one I use. This one's probably about 5 pounds. And that's it. And I hope that helps you. For anyone that's on a budget, can't afford it, you can just make it. It's real cheap, it's real simple. There's other videos out there too on YouTube that gave me some ideas. So you just gotta be creative, just use your imagination, take your time, you know? 
look around the house for what you got. There's got to be something around your house. Got an old pair of sneakers to take off the shoestring. That's it. You won't, if you don't got sand, get some dirt. Take out all the rocks. There you go. That's weight. So I hope this video helps you guys. If you have any questions, comments, hit me up. Good luck. Enjoy that workout. Have fun with it. Another slip bag, three to five pound medicine ball I got from a thrift store for a few bucks. Some chain, a D ring anchor, that's what it's called. I got it from Harbor Freights, a set of two of them for three bucks. This is the slip bag I use inside when I'm watching my kid. I don't want him out there in the garage with me, it's too crowded. I don't want him to trip over anything, so I set this up in here so I can work out when he's here. The other mount I have for the slip bag in the garage is running off a hook. This one's got better rotation. I like this setup a lot better inside than the one I have out in the garage, but they both work great. <laughs> 